Hi everyone and welcome to another Plan With Me video. This is Elise of Plan With Elise and today we are using my Kel of a Planner creative, which I use for a creative journal. So the way that I've used this, I haven't done this page yet, but I've done self affirmations, like morning affirmations over here. And um, we have just a little bit of journaling that I've been doing, which has been nice and fun and like definitely a relaxing type of way to kind of play around a little bit in my planner. So um, I have this week, February, today is the first, so I haven't done these yet, which is why we are empty, but we do need to check off healthy eating because I did do that the last two days. And now we are going to use these pages. Now, what I'd say I love the most about using the Kellogg Plan Planner for this is how thick the paper is. And I can really use these fun colored markers and pens and not worry about any bleed through because I haven't experienced that at all. And it's been, it's been really nice, I, like just having this thicker paper. So I have the Spring Collections Volume 2 sticker book from Amber Plans Her Day. I know it's not quite spring yet. I do find that using florals in this is kind of easiest for me, just in terms of um, making sure that there's still enough space for me to, uh, what's the word, to write in, but also have some nice pretty florals to play around with as well. So I think that we're going to start and cover up some of the lines here. This should be a rather quick video. And we'll cover those up. And then let's grab, this might be a little bit too big actually. Wait a second. We're gonna test something here. Okay. Well, I have that down. Let me just look. Ah, over here. Hmm. This is going to be too wide. Oh, wait, no, it'll it'll fit. I don't know why it was looking wide for me. Oh, you know why? Because in the Calibre Plan Planner, the left side has four days as opposed to the left side having three days. So it would have been too much if this were a different planner, but it works over here. Oh, that's pretty. Okay, and now let's take maybe this one. And I'm probably gonna need to cover up more than I am right now. And all of a sudden I'm like, okay, is this gonna be worth a YouTube video? Because this is going to be quick, but maybe you only have a few minutes to watch a video today. So it being quick will be, <laughs> will be a benefit. Some are long, some are short. And then we can just also cover up right over here. And we want to go right to there. And this is where I journal a little bit about my day. And some days I don't have that much to write. So on those days, I might write what I'm currently reading or watching or grateful for. Um, and sometimes it's always just... I'm going to bring this in. It's it's just a little bit. And that's what I like because I think that in the past, journaling has been overwhelming for me. And there's not a ton of space in the vertical to write in. So I'm really just like, let me see if I can just pull an example here. That's not, it's not too personal. Um, let's see. Okay. So here's a good example. Great day. I visited Mel, Dean, and Ethan. Gave Ethan a ball, put as an early birthday present. He loved it. Had dinner with Betsy and Joe. Homemade pasta and meatballs. Quiet day, but so productive. Working, Worked on organizing my office. It's better than ever. Eight books read for the month. Or here was a watching, eating, and reading type of example. So it's nice because it just doesn't have to be that deep. It's just like a little bit about my day. And then what I've also done is taken a sheet of note paper when I, when there's been, um, a day that I really needed more space is I'll take, I'm going to bring in some orange on this side. I'll take a sheet of note paper and 
just pop it in the planner because of course it's a disc bound planner. So it has that ability and just used that sheet to journal when I do need more space. Cause most of the time I don't. So that's why this layout fits for me. But then when I do, it's there for me to use. Let's cover up notes. We are out of correction tape, but I knew I had a backup nearby. Okay. So let's put that right there. Okay. Now what I've noticed in the last four or five weeks of using this is that I was putting boxes kind of all over, but really wasn't using them in where I, I was struggling unless they were at the top or the bottom of the page. Cause what if I'm journaling? I don't have that much space to journal to begin with. And then there's a box flat, like slop right in the middle. So I think that we're going to try to really keep them more up towards the top and bottom as not to interrupt any sentence <laughs> that I'm writing about. Um, and I don't know that we're going to go with a quote here. I think we're just going to stick with a couple boxes and florals here. Like I could bring this one down, but then I feel like I have that empty space up there. But let's see. I don't want it to be in the middle. So I'm like, okay, don't do the thing, <clears throat> Elise, that you said you weren't going to do. So we'll put this one down and then this over here. So it's really just prepping this to make sure that I have at least two full boxes on each page. So we do, and even a little bit more some places. So maybe we even bring in this purple over here. Fill this up. And then one more orange on the bottom. Kind of like this. Okay. And that honestly might do it. Um, this is where I'll probably list like favorite moments of the week or memories or things like that. There have been times that I've colored in these top date bullets, like over here, but I don't know, should we do it? Like looking over at my purple pens and markers, and I don't want them to be too dark. I think that most of my purple ones are going to be too dark, although oh, that's going to be too bluish purple. Let's see. Not quite right. We're going to Goldilocks this situation. I don't know that this is going to work. That's too blue. This is probably too blue also. Hmm. I feel like, oh wait, I have this next to me. This should, this might work. It's a little bit more like violet than that. Sometimes it can be really hard to match the sticker exactly. We do have, that's too light. Um... I don't know that I'm gonna, I'm gonna have it. I've got one more option over here. I think it might be too pink. Yeah, it's too pink. All right, so instead of taking out all the pens I own, we're just gonna leave this <laughs> as is because honestly, I think it works. I'm just, it's like, it can be hard with the video because I want the video to be worth your time watching, but we are we are less than 10 minutes so nice quick video um amber plans her day the sticker book you can save using code at least 10 linked in the description and of course i will link the kel of a planner as well um i believe it's on sale might be 30 percent off so definitely check that out this paper quality is incredible and i love the planner so thanks so much for watching if you are not yet subscribed please do take a moment to like this video and subscribe to my channel and i will see you next time